Hey there, welcome to our JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we will dive into the fundamentals of jQuery, a popular JavaScript library that simplifies web development. Whether you are a beginner or have some programming experience, this video will get you up to speed with the basic of jQuery. So let's get started. First off, what is jQuery and why is it so popular? jQuery is a fast, small and a feature-rich JavaScript library designed to simplify HTML document traversal, event handling and animation. It provides a simplified and intuitive way to interact with HTML elements, handle events and manipulate web page content. jQuery has gained immense popularity because it saves time, reduces code complexity and works seamlessly across different web browsers. Now let's take a quick look at the history and evolution of jQuery. It was created by John Resig in 2006 and was initially developed to address the inconsistencies and complexities of JavaScript across various browsers. Over time, jQuery gained wide adaptation and became an essential tool for web developers. It played a crucial role in shaping modern web development practices and inspired the development of other JavaScript frameworks and libraries. To start using jQuery, you need to download and include it in your project. Luckily, it is incredibly easy to get started. You can download jQuery from the official website at jQuery.com. Once you have downloaded the jQuery file, simply include it in your HTML document using the script tag. Let me show you an example. By including this script tag in your HTML file, you are ready to start using jQuery in your project. Now let's talk about jQuery syntax and how it simplifies JavaScript code. jQuery provides a concise and intuitive syntax that abstracts away the complexities of JavaScript, making it easier to perform common tasks. With jQuery, you can select HTML elements, modify their properties and content, handle events and perform animations with just a few lines of code. In this example, we use the jQuery function denoted by the dollar sign to select the h1 element on the page and change its text to hello jQuery. The dollar sign document dot ready function ensures that the HTML document executes only after the HTML document has finished loading. Now let's talk about key jQuery features and functionalities. jQuery provides a rich set of features that make it a powerful tool for web development. Some of its key features include DOM manipulation, event handling, animation effect, AJAX and much more. jQuery simplifies complex tasks such as selecting HTML elements, modifying their attributes or content, and handling user interactions. It is a versatile library that enables you to create interactive and dynamic web pages with ease. Next, let's talk about the jQuery document ready function. When working with jQuery, it is crucial to ensure that your code executes only after the HTML document has finished loading. That's where the document ready function comes in. It allows you to specify a block of code that runs when the DOM is ready. This ensures that you can safely interact with the HTML elements without worrying about them not being available yet. Let me show you an example.
In this example, we wrap up our jQuery code with the dollar sign document dot ready function. This ensures that the code inside executes only after the HTML document has fully loaded. Here we are selecting all P elements on the page and changing their text to jQuery is awesome. Next up, let's explore jQuery selectors. Selectors are an essential part of jQuery allowing you to target a specific HTML elements and perform actions on them. jQuery selectors are similar to CSS selectors, making it easier for web developers familiar with CSS to jump right into jQuery. Selectors enable you to choose elements based on their tag name, class, ID, attributes and more. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we showcase different type of jQuery selectors. We select h1 elements and change their text color to red, hide elements with the class my class, fade in an element with the id my id, and set the value of input elements with the attribute type text to hello jQuery. And that's wrap up our discussion we explored how jQuery simplifies web development with its powerful feature. Ensure our code runs after the document is ready using the document ready function and targeted a specific HTML elements using selectors. In our next video we will dive into manipulating HTML content with jQuery so stay tuned. Thanks for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy coding!